Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt. Welcome back. Continuing the Oscar season Best Picture nominations. Today, we're talking about Vice. Adam McKay's latest flick, once again starring Christian Bale. I think those two are becoming a little bit inseparable. This time telling the story of politician Dick Cheney. The film pretty much follows his whole professional life, focusing kind of mainly on his time in office sort of during the 70s, but with a much bigger focus sort of given to uh, the sort of late 90s, early 2000s, when he was vice president for the Bush administration. For those of you that don't know, Dick Cheney is essentially the guy behind George W. Bush, the one who sort of really had the power. He was kind of pulling the strings. He's the one who kind of created the war on terror. He's also the one who kind of started the whole war in Iraq due to there being weapons of mass destruction. So just like the big short, the film is kind of a dramatized comedy. This time, however, the film does state from the outset that some parts might be a little bit embellished. Main reason for that being is that they simply can't know what was actually said during these conversations, but they've done their best to fill in the blanks. And for the most part, I think what they've done is a pretty believable job. The film is quite funny. I don't think, however, it's as funny as it thinks it is. Adam McKay has kind of gone for a similar thing like he did with The Big Short. However, The Big Short had more sort of genuine laugh out loud moments. Whereas this is, it's still witty, it's still very intelligent comedy, and there are some laugh out loud moments. It's just there are clearly jokes in there where you're like, okay, that was funny, but it doesn't warrant me laughing out loud. And uh, there are quite a few jokes in there like that. A lot of fourth wall breaking in this movie. There's a moment between two characters. The film pretty much says, we have no idea what was said in this conversation, but let's imagine it was done uh, in some kind of Shakespearean manner. Then the two characters proceed to go ahead and have like a uh, dialogue exchange in Shakespearean English. There's another fourth wall break as well where Dick Cheney's at a restaurant with some other politicians. They're trying to decide what their options are in terms of advanced interrogation. Um, and it's kind of delivered by the waiter handing them menus and then listing off the, sort of the various specials. Those are some quite humorous moments. There is also a, <laughs> there is also a moment halfway through the film where the film kind of gives a whole, ah, oh, imagine if this happened, and it gives it a nice happy ending and the credits start rolling. Be warned, that is not the end of the film. Some guy in my showing actually got up as the credits were rolling. It, we'd been in the cinema for about an hour and just left. Like, he stopped when the joke kind of clearly ended. Like, we saw him, he stopped. But I think he was just too embarrassed, and at that point, he, he, he then left and just missed the rest of the film. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. The film isn't a short one. The runtime is just over two hours. However, that is two hours that you will kind of spend gripped to your seat. There's no point where you feel that the movie's dragging on at all. It is very, very interesting throughout and you just kind of can't believe where he's going next. Some of the things that Dick Cheney managed to get away with, be that in the 70s or be that in the 2000s, are just absolutely astounding how he was just kind of completely able to play the system. And that's where the film gets very interesting because Dick Cheney's pretty much seen as being inherently a bit of an evil bastard. Christian Bale at the, I think it was the Golden Globe, said like, you know, thank you very much to Satan for providing the uh, inspiration for this role. However, the movie at points kind of does a very good job of kind of humanizing him, um, almost making you feel a bit bad on him. There's uh, the relationship sort of between him and his daughter, Mary, and the way how he doesn't want that to be affected in the politics that's involved there, that he's involved in, is quite interesting. Now, moving on to the performances themselves, Christian Bale, uh, you know, Christian Bale always throws himself 100% into every single role that he does. What I found real, and you know, he absolutely crushes it in this. What I found really amazing was how good of a job the hair and makeup department kind of did of making him look like Dick Cheney. Like, here's Christian Bale, here's Dick Cheney. Like, it's madness. And it's not just Christian Bale they did it with, they did it with the whole cast as well. Steve Carell as Donald Rumsfeld, they did it with Sam Rockwell as George W. Bush, and they also did it with Amy Adams as Leanne Cheney. The prosthetics that they've used are amazing. They all look enough like the real people they're portraying, but at the same time, they still look like themselves. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I do believe it's up for an Academy Award for the sort of hair, makeup, and prosthetics and everything like that. I, I would say it probably deserves to win it. The performances throughout are absolutely amazing though. As I say, Christine Bell crushes it, Amy Adams crushes it, Steve Carell crushes it, um, and Sam Rockwell as George W. Bush is an absolute delight to watch. He is genuinely hilarious. And if it's, if it's even a fraction, even a fraction of what George Bush is actually like, it's amazing how he became president of the United States in the first place, to be honest. 
But hey, that's the world we live in. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. The one, the one area where I think the film falters, unlike Adam McKay's previous film, The Big Short, that did a very good job of kind of explaining to you what is very complicated, complicated manner in sort of you know, this is how uh, you know the economy crashed. You know, the, this is this is exactly what happened. The film here kind of teeters on explaining how Cheney went about sort of enacting certain policies and how he managed to get certain things, you know, how he managed to get away with doing certain things that he did. However, it doesn't go into, it's it's more kind of like, he's like, I'm gonna do X, and then we see X come to fruition. We don't see all the politics in the middle. Now I get that's not gonna make for an entertaining movie, it is a bit boring. However, I think there could have maybe been a bit more of an explanation as to sort of how he managed to achieve some of the things that he wished to achieve. But already two hour runtime, I guess, you know, they, they can't fit absolutely everything in. That and the fact that I don't think the film is as funny as it is are the only things that I can really falter it on. So given the film a rating, I am gonna give this a seven and a half out of 10. Yeah, that's right, we're, we're using halves now. Things are getting tricky. I think I need to work out a new rating system. But hey, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Down below, I've got the links to all the other uh, Oscar Best Picture movies which have been nominated, which I've so far done videos on. I've got a couple left to do, so do keep an eye out for those. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Take care.